my name is Jamie and today I'm doing a book review on Goonie Bird Green by Lois Lowry. Please subscribe to this channel for more book reviews like this. This is a book that was in our curriculum that we didn't get to and that I read on my own. And right off the bat, I have to be a little honest with you, I wasn't the biggest fan of this book. Let me tell you the story real quick. This is Goonie, and in this book, she is a new student at her school, and she arrives at school, I think a little late, and she's wearing the craziest clothes and her teacher asks her why she's late and then she tells this story about why she why she's late and the whole book are these stories told by Goonie Bird Green and before she tells the story she always tells the class like the title of the story and the title of the story makes you think that she's lying about the story itself but then once the story unfolds you realize that it is true but the title of the story is misleading and making it sound like it's not actually true but the whole book takes place in the classroom and it's on different days and on each different day the kids would ask Goonie to tell these different stories about her crazy life because she's a crazy little girl she gets into stuff so she has a bunch of stories to tell and the kids love listening to her and the teacher loves listening to her and she encourages the other kids to tell their own stories so that part of it is pretty cool I like how she brings the kids out of their shell and they want to tell their own stories and they're more inclined to listen so that they can quickly get to the storytelling part of the class the class period. So what I didn't like was Goonie is a bit bossy to the teacher. I didn't like the disrespect shown there and how the teacher just kind of brushed it off like, ha ha ha, it's Goonie Bird Green. And I'm like, it, it doesn't matter who it is. Um, kids need to be taught to respect people. But that was just a small thing in the book that kind of irritated me. Goonie herself wasn't mean to the other kids and she wasn't particularly mean to the teacher she just had kind of like a bossy attitude like an I know more than you attitude and I was like mm. so that's that's probably why or one of the reasons why I wasn't the biggest fan of the book um it wasn't my style of book just in general I'm sure when I told you the premise of the book, it sounds fun and it sounds lighthearted and funny and just one that younger kids would enjoy, but personally, it wasn't my favorite. It wasn't written badly. The stories that Goonie Bird t told were funny and they were told well. I just, it wasn't my cup of tea. Um... I guess I enjoy more intricate stories, um, more historical stories. Um, even if the stories take place in a modern setting, I like more going on than just being in one place, like how the whole book took place in the classroom. Again, just my preference. I don't there's nothing wrong, I think, with the book itself, except for that little bit of disrespect shown. I just think it's not what I like personally. I don't want to say it's it wasn't bad writing. And if you're into that, or if your little girl maybe is into that, I'm sure she would love it. Just personally, it's not what I like. But it is not a long book. It is 117 pages, 115 pages, I think. And it was written in 2002. So it's it's more modern than a lot of the books that I read and review. It does it does have illustrations. So you can see there's Goonie right there. She is adorable. I like her funny clothes that she wears this is a picture of her as a baby with her mom 
What else do we have here? You always have to have a picture of her in her amazing get-ups because it's part of why the story is so fun because she dresses so outlandishly and because of that she actually encourages the teacher and the other students to dress more outlandishly because since Goonie isn't throwing judgment towards anybody else about what they're wearing and she wears whatever she wants then it it kind of gives the other kids permission to be more creative in what they wear to school and not be afraid to wear the stuff that they enjoy and it's just cute that part of it there's a lot of parts of it that were cute so I think like I said if you have a little girl maybe you have little boys who enjoy um, characters who are a bit extra and who get into trouble or who tell funny stories, then that would be good for them. So, Goonie Bird Green, give it a try by Lois Lowry, illustrated by Minnie Thomas. Midi Thomas. That's all I have for you today. I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you in our next video. Goodbye.